So I looked at Sean's GPS, and where we're at is right about at the southern boundary. Gotcha. Where Sean shoveled a whole bunch. We found a little spot, and it's just over to the west. He doesn't have any record of the Christine Rose having shoveled right there. It may be a little too deep for the Christine Rose. So I think that's a good next step for us. Zeke Tenoff sees his last chance as his best chance. All right, let's go shovel, boys. Shovel! This season has been brutal. We basically have no gold. We've moved over to the coveted Tom Cod claim, but we're still coming up empty. But finally, some positive vibes are coming our way. Sean gave us some coordinates where he hasn't mined yet. That probably means that there's some gold there. If there is, we can get enough gold to save our season and keep the operation going. Look at all this water it just poured out of here, damn. Just because of all the blizzards and all this heavy snow on the ice, it's causing the ice to be pressed down under the water level, and it's just not ideal. This is the challenge of the last days of winter. We're on what should be promising ground, but we have massive overflow. All this water is weighing down on the ice, which is already pretty thin and weak and could easily break apart. If we set up out here and the ice collapses, like us and all of our equipment could drop into the bottom of the sea. But there's nothing I can do about this overflow. And I'm just gonna set up in this big pool of water and hope it works out. I don't have a choice. I'm trying to get a hole through this uh, watery ice in this big puddle. And it looks like the chainsaw is making pretty short work of it. If we can get our block free and get a, get a hole open. Then we'll pull the sluice sled into it. We'll see how it works out. I didn't anticipate being in water like this. So it's gonna be challenge. Everything is in place, so there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to dive on this. This whole setup is kind of crazy, but this is it. I got to find some gold here. It's over. You need to catch a break here and get into some gold. Look like down there, bud. Sounds great. This is good stuff. It's actually pretty phenomenal. I love to hear it. I'm seeing some pieces of gold now. Yeah! Thank God! Hey, how you doing down there, bud? Prospecting hard on this hole, he's punching around. This is the area that Sean kind of gave us the okay that the shovels didn't hit. Now at least we have some good looking ground. After nearly six hours down below, Zeke's last ditch effort is paying off. Everything here, I'm gonna dredge it up. I'm gonna plow right through here. Bam! Every bit of all this ground in this whole trajectory is going through my sleeve box. 
areas where there's pockets where they're just loaded with these little pieces of gold just like that. Nice. Well, that's great. Now we're on to something. It looks like gold's been poured out of this tiny river and get pushed up right into this bench. I did like to dive on this hole again, but uh, it is getting kind of late, so and we still have to pull all this stuff out of the puddle. Yeah, come on up. We got lots of work left to do. Oh, you gathered. Yeah! <laughs> so dumb! <laughs> How you feeling? Good! I'm over the moon. That is awesome. We have direction and you do. We're seeing color, that's amazing. Yeah, it's been direct before for sure. That's great. Dude. That could have gone a lot of ways that yeah. were like really not with any gold. It really could have. I feel vindicated. I feel relief and hope. We're on some gold. It's not just a few specks of gold. It's really good gold. We may be the 11th hour, but we're definitely on it. Now we've just got to milk it for as long as Mother Nature will allow. Dude, I'm sick. Oh. Thank Evans. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was in some good gold, that's for sure. I would see gold under some rocks, and I would see it on the clay. So I'm super stoked. As the end of winter looms, Zeke Tanoff may be breathing a life-saving gasp into his season. There's lots of gold out there, and I would see it under the pea gravel, and sometimes I would see it on top of the rocks. Finally, the season was looking like it was essentially over, but we finally got into some gold on Tom Cod. Ah, yeah, this is great. I love this. If we can keep grinding on this pastry, I think we'll get enough gold to keep this operation alive. Fingers crossed. It's a tidy little pile of gold here. I'm not, I'm not afraid of this way out. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. I'd always thought Tom Cod had been beat up and dredged out. This tells me that it's clearly not. It's clearly not. 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 Yeah. We're up to almost two ounces here. All right, 2.94. That'll do. 2.94 ounces is worth over $5,000. And while it's not breaking the bank, it's the mad scientist's biggest haul this winter and just in the nick of time. This is my favorite way to make money. That'll do, solid. Hopefully this keeps up. I need at least eight ounces to get through till summer. And it really doesn't matter if everything sucked up until today. All that matters is the final tally when we walk off the ice. And for the first time all winter, I'm starting to feel optimistic. It's going to take another couple of clean outs to buy a caddy, but we'll get there. Well, I like it. I'm really happy that Sean bought Tomcod. I could see myself dredging out for there for the next decade. <laughs>